Hey, it's uh, Tuesday, November 22nd. I am, I am in the kitchen and getting ready to head to therapy soon. And I keep telling her about, uh, oops, sorry, here we go. I keep telling her about my celery root puree and a couple of other people because it's just magic and you don't need potatoes and it's everything you'd ever want without a potato. Uh, so I came home, I bought a couple celery roots, I, I was in a real hurry so I wasn't able to show you the raw celery root, maybe one day I can cut it in there, but anyway, I peeled it, I chopped it up into little one inch squares and look, it's, oh, it's here, in the pot, uh, steaming away. So we're going to steam that until it gets to be nice and soft, and then we're going to simply put it in the food processor with a little cream and some of this new stuff I got coconut spread instead of butter. It's organic coconut spread and it's not too heavy like on the coconut. It's really really delicious and much much better for you than regular butter even though that's what I would usually use. But I'm experimenting today. Alright so I'll hit this thing back on when I get it into the food processor and whiz it together. Alrighty. Oh, I thought I should mention I also really like heavy cream. Heavy cream. Better than half and half. Half and half isn't good for you. Suzanne Summers taught me that Half and half is bad because you're mixing the fat and the carbohydrate, which don't uh, food combine well in the science of food combining, which is really uh, an effective science for eating. So I use heavy cream in my everything. I don't use half and half, and I suggest that you try that yourself if you're trying to lose weight. All fat is better. Okay. All right, so the celery root's almost ready. I just checked it. I can pierce it, but I'd like it to be a little more tender before I stick it in the food processor. And I just thought I'd take this moment to mention how much I hate cleaning up after myself. Or anyone else for that matter, but I really don't like doing the dishes. Although, if you're going to eat well, you got to clean it up so that you can cook again. Over and over and over again. I complain about this in therapy. The monotony and the drudgery of this work. And uh, my therapist always reminds me that, uh, hey, that's life. That's what ordinary life is all about. You just, you know, get up, put on your clothes, and do the same thing over and over and over again. I've never really been very good at that. Don't really want to succumb to that, but uh, I understand it. I understand that you need to do the ordinary things in life to move on. Anyway, seems odd, but... That's the way it goes. All right, celery root's probably almost ready. All righty. I declare that the celery root is ready. It's nice and softened, and we're going to get it into our food processor and puree it. Just use that. whatever you can to get it out of your steamer and into your food processor while it's still hot. All right. Oops, there goes one. Yeah, I need a new steamer basket. That picky uppy thing in the middle is not there. Real problem. Okay. All right, so that took 15 minutes longer than I hoped. We're gonna add a quarter cup of cream that I warmed on the stove top. All right. And About four tablespoons of whatever uh, fat you decide to use. Like I said, today I'm trying it with a little uh, coconut spread. I usually use butter, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, this camera's like totally not set so you can see me. I'm gonna add a little salt, a little salt, a little white pepper. Whiz it up. Just like that. Puree until it's smooth. Yummy and delicious. Let it go a little bit because you really want it smooth.
pretty good. Feels great. Wow. It really is amazing. Look, just like potatoes, but no carbs. Lovely and delicious. Let's see, let's give it a little taste for seasoning. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's delicious. A little more salt. Mmm. Alrighty. And that, my friends, is celery view puree in like 40 minutes. It's freaking amazing. I suggest you all try it this Thanksgiving. That's my tip for those of you watching your waistlines. All right. Until later on, I'm going to be making Brussels sprouts later and a stir fry with quinoa and asparagus and red pepper and Fresno chilies and yummy. It's going to be so good. But in the meantime, off to Okay, therapy. so I just delivered the celery root <laughs> to my first... I'm not even going to say who you are. Just say how amazing the celery root is. That's all you have to do. Did you like the celery root? It's delicious. You never have to eat a potato again, do you? No, it is fabulous. I uh, never would have believed it. Ah, uh, yay. Uh, thank you. Marisha made this fantastic celery root mush, and it is fantastic.